today class previously i'm going to discuss to you about the solar system but first this is our objective for this lesson we should be able to describe the different composition of the solar system and identify the importance of the different composition of the solar system our solar system is a part of the milky way galaxy it consists of the sun eight major planets Five dwarf planets, 200 plus moons, almost millions of asteroids, and 3,000 plus galaxies and meteorites. But what is solar system? Solar system refers to the space object like the sun and the group of planets that move around it. Here are the five things about the solar system. Number one, our solar system is made of a star. Eight planets and countless smaller bodies such as dwarf planets, asteroids, and comets. Number two, our solar system is the center of the Milky Way galaxy where it is the one type of galaxy that we have. Number three, it takes our solar system about 230 million years to complete orbiting around the galactic center. Number four, our solar system is a spiraling through space. Number five, our solar system consists of many moons. Now let's talk about the center of the solar system. Sun. Sun is the heart of our solar system. It is a yellow dwarf star and hot full of glowing gases. Here are five things about the sun. Number one, if the sun were as tall as a typical front door, Earth would be about the size of a nickel. Number two, the sun is the center of our solar system and makes up 99.8% of the mass of the entire solar system. Number three, at the equator, the sun spins once about every 25 days, but at the poles, the sun rotates on its axis every 35 Earth days. Number four, without the sun's intense energy, there would be no life on Earth. Number five, the sun's visible surface sometimes has a dark spot which are areas of intense magnetic activity that can lead to solar explosions. There are many objects that move around the sun, and one of that is planet. Planets. Planets in our solar system are classified as either Jovian planets or terrestrial planets. Terrestrial planets have a solid, rocky surfaces with metal stiff in its interior and smaller in sizes. It includes Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. While Jovian planets have a larger sizes but don't have solid surfaces and made up of gases, it includes Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, and Uranus. But let us know first deeply the planets and the terrestrial. Number one, Mercury. Mercury is the smallest planet in our solar system, only slightly larger than our Earth. It is the closest planet to the Sun at a distance of about 58 million kilometers. One day on Mercury takes 59 Earth days. Mercury makes complete orbit around the Sun in just 88 Earth days. Rough surface, moonless, ringless, and it has temperature of 427 degrees Celsius at day and at night it has a negative 173 degrees Celsius. Next planet is Venus. Venus known as morning and evening star. Venus is the same size of the Earth. It is the second closest planet to the Sun at a distance of about 108 million kilometers. One day on Venus lasts 243 Earth days because Venus is spinning backwards, with its sun rising in the west and setting in the east. Venus has no moon and no rings. Venus consists of greenhouse effect, so the Venus surface temperature is about 465 degrees Celsius, hot enough to melt the lead. Earth, our home planet. Things about our Earth. Earth is the third planet from the Sun at a distance of about 150 million kilometers. 
A day on Earth is 24 hours. Earths make a complete orbit around the Sun in about 365 days. Earth is a rocky planet with a solid and dynamic surface, most covered by water. Earth's atmosphere is about 78% of nitrogen, 21% of oxygen, and 1% of other elements. It is the perfect balance to breathe and live. And Earth has a moon named Luna. Last planet in terrestrial, Mars. If the sun were stole as a typical front door, Earth would be the dime and Mars would be about as a big as an aspirin tablet. Mars is the fourth planet from the sun at an average distance of about 228 million kilometers. One day on the Mars take a little over 24 hours. Mars makes a complete orbit around the Sun in 687 Earth days. Mars is a thin atmosphere made up of mostly of carbon dioxide, argon, nitrogen, a small amount of oxygen, and water before. And Mars have two moons named Phobos and Deimos. First Jovian planet, Jupiter. Eleven Earth could fit across Jupiter equator. If Earth were the size of a grape, Jupiter would be the size of a basketball. Jupiter is a fifth planet from the Sun. Jupiter orbits about 778 million kilometers from our Sun. Jupiter rotates once about every 10 hours but takes about 12 years to complete one orbit of the Sun. Jupiter is a glass giant and so lacks as an Earth's surface. Jupiter has more than 75 moons and it has a great spot. It is a gigantic storm of gas that's about twice the size of the Earth and has a range over a century. Saturn. Saturn the sixth planet from the Sun and orbits at a distance of about 1.4 billion kilometers. Saturn takes about 10.7 hours to rotate its axis once and 29 Earth years to orbit the Sun. Saturn is a gas giant planet and therefore does not have solid surface like Earth. Saturn's atmosphere is made up of mostly hydrogen and helium and has the most spectacular ring system with seven rings and several cups. Uranus Uranus is about four times wider than Earth. If Earth were a large apple, Uranus would be the size of a basketball. Uranus orbits our sun and it is the seven planets from the sun at a distance of about 2.9 billion kilometers. Uranus takes about 17 hours to rotate axis once and 84 Earth years to orbit the Sun. Uranus has an ice giant which has had dense fluid icy materials of water, methane, and ammonia. Uranus has 27 known moons and has 13 known rings. Last Jovian planet, Neptune. Neptune is about four times wider than Earth. If the Earth were the larger apple, Neptune would be the size of a basketball. Neptune is the eight planets from the Sun at a distance of about 4.5 billion kilometers. Neptune takes about 16 hours to rotate its axis once and 165 Earth years to orbit the Sun. Neptune has 14 known moons and Neptune has at least 5 main rings which are clumps of a dust and debris. And here are the other objects that we can see in our solar system. Meteorites are objects in a space that range in size from the dust grain to a small asteroid or a space rock. 
When meteorites enter Earth's atmosphere at high speed and burn up, the fireballs are shooting star called now meteors. When a meteorite survives a trip through the atmosphere and hit the ground of the Earth, it is known as meteorites. Moon It is a rock in our solar system orbiting the planets and also known as the natural satellite. Cooper Belt A donut-shaped region of icy bodies beyond the orbit of Neptune. Oort Cloud is a giant spherical shell surrounding the rest of the solar system. It is like a big, thick wall bubble made of icy pieces of space debris. Comets are cosmic snowball of frozen gases, rock, and dust that orbit the sun. And now we're going to proceed to your activity. Direction Design the circle below to look like your chosen planet. And then write facts about your planets in the speech bubbles. Time's up! And now let's have a short evaluation. Read carefully the directions and answer the following in 10 minutes. Before this lesson ends, I would like to leave a question. What do you think the importance of sun in the different celestial objects? That's all. Thank you for listening and God bless.